everybody and welcome back to Cheddar Business. Honeywell's made a name for itself for building complex control systems powering the world's biggest industrial sites. The company now announcing a major breakthrough which would allow the company also to launch the world's most powerful quantum computer within the next just three months. Tony Utley is the president of Honeywell Quantum Solutions. Tony, great to have you with us. It is wonderful to be here. Thank it's, you. It sounds huge. You guys do always things at a, at a very big scale and so apologies but please remind us again the importance of quantum computing, what it is how it's different from sure. computing that we're used to. It, it really, it just acts differently from classical computers of today. It allows for processing massive amounts of computations at the same time. So things that would have been and are unheard of to be able to do with classical computers, you can do with quantum computers. Uh, any type of problem that is super computationally heavy, like yeah. uh, trying to do development of pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. or trying to do logistics for supply chains, things like that. The average person is not doing heavy computation. So for people like me and Hope, how might quantum computing actually manifest itself in our everyday lives? Sure, it's probably not gonna be on your cell phone just <laughs> quite yet. Uh, but like a lot of the uh, access that you have through your mobile phone, it will be available via remote access. So that's how we do our, our computer today. So problems that you don't even know you're solving with quantum computers might be being solved in the background with quantum computers. So give us an example, really. I know you, you talked a little bit about supply chain. Mm -hmm. Maybe go into maybe more of a tangible sure. example of what's uh, happening today. You may know Honeywell is in the aerospace business, and we provide a lot of components and subsystems. Uh, one of the things that happens is disruptions. Whenever there's a, a storm that comes in, rerouting all of the planes, that's a, that's a complex challenge made more complex by the number of airports, the number of planes. Uh, we are using, looking at use cases right now where you'd use quantum computing to try to figure out what to go do in that case of that disruption. As Hope had mentioned, you guys are announcing this major breakthrough that uh, will come to fruition within the next few months for it to actually take place and take hold in industries like airlines that you mentioned. How long does it actually take bef between the time that you launch this new capability versus when companies can actually start using the technology? So companies will be able to use it soon, uh, but what they're going to be doing is doing that path to value creation. So we're looking at use cases where you can take the problem, shrink it down, and apply a smaller problem set to the quantum computer quantum volume that exists today, and then as you expand that quantum volume, you can expand the size of the problem. And you have to do this in any industries where you have long development cycles, you really have to plan that far out to be able to bring something like quantum computing into your business. So on the AI machine learning side, it's about predictability, right, of a certain outcome. I mean, it sounds like what quantum can do is maximize those decision-making powers across something that might take a year, let's say, in a time frame, like a supply chain. Is, sure. that, is that the right way to think about it? Uh, think about it in terms of uh, looking at multiple solutions at the same time. So something like, one qubit would look at two values at the same time. 10 qubits would look at 1,000-ish values at the same time. 50 qubits, 1.1 quadrillion values. What, what is that Marvel, uh, the, the one tradition, the, which does a ring thing? Oh, uh, Doctor Str uh, Strange? Strange? Yeah, yeah Doctor but, Strange. Yeah, that's like looking at all the futures, right? And then, is it is something like that? <laughs> nice <laughs> analogy. Right way, yeah. Sure, there yeah. you go. And there just seeing go. all of it and saying, and I mean, the last of, uh, at the end of the uh, Avengers, right? The didn't he go, game? didn't he like the go through? Yes, realm? he literally yeah, went through all possibilities. Yeah, yes, that, that, all that possibilities, is accurate. And then they, that and is then they, and then they won. I mean, that's like, but it was a very sad outcome. Forever. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure that's our use case immediately. <laughs> yeah, but, but to make it applicable, I think. I guess for, for me, it's a bit of a chicken and egg question as well. You're solving a lot of problems across industries and coming up with these solutions, but are you working with companies to understand what their large scale problems are and then coming up with tools? Or is it more general what you're working on? It can be applied in many different fields. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of both. So our, our partnership announcement with JP Morgan Chase is to look at very specific use cases that are important to them. Things like fraud detection, things like bringing AI into their, into their trading uh, applications. Those are things that we can look at right now. But as we look at aerospace applications, they have multiple different applicability options later. So really quickly, we're excited. Yeah, mm -hmm. IBM, Google, I mean, everybody's like in the tech space is working on this. Honeywell seems like an outlier. Why does it make sense for Honeywell to also be tackling this problem? So it seems like an outsider because, or outlier maybe, because most people don't know what it takes to build one. 
So all of all of the subsystems needed to build a quantum computer are things Honeywell has been doing for decades in our aerospace business, in our controls business, in our chemicals business. We just were able to bring it together. All right, Tony, thanks so much for being with us. Tony Utley is the president of Honeywell Quantum Solutions. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.